begged Lisa not to go over all that. I really did beg her not. Because guess what? I'm just hometown USA. I didn't grow up here in Florence. I grew up in a little town called Cedartown, Georgia. But it looks just like this. As a matter of fact, it looked a lot more like Darlington. And Rome, Georgia is Florence. But I grew up in that same environment. What's interesting, Costa, is I listened to you. You would have thought I was in the tobacco field because much of what I want to say is very much in line with what you're saying. When I looked at why are we here today, I brought my little program, and it says, this event will focus on networking opportunities to make professional friendships, business contacts, and develop, develop, build key relationships that will help grow your business reach and your personal career. What that said, it's all about relationships. And it's all about us having relationships with the people that we're standing beside, the people that we work, like Costa and I, in the same community together. It's about those relationships and learning that's one of the things that I figured out in my small town. I did go through the school education. The one that's missing in there is I actually originally was an associate degree nurse, Dr. Ford. Uh, I went to an associate degree in nursing before I got my baccalaureate. And the other thing that I think is unique is I paid every dime of that myself. I went through school all on my own nickel and worked full time to do that. I am the daughter, the only child of a Napa Auto Parts man and a mother that helped keep the books for the business. And I knew that was too much of a burden for them to try to get me through school, so I did it. Here's what I learned. May I loved whack. Women adapt and conquer. Well, I wanted to talk about how do you get it? Well, first and foremost the, of the get, and I'm not, it's funny that we were both using uh, letters to discuss. The first and foremost of, of the get, and those of you that know me know what I'm going to say, get over yourself. Get over yourself. Because as long as it's about you, you'll never reach where you need to be. Because what you're here to do is bigger than what any individual can do. And my team will hear me say that all the time. You need to get over yourself. This is not about you. So first thing, get over yourself. Number two, you God gave you your personality. But you have the option to develop your emotional intelligence. And there's more and more science about the differentiator in, in life and work is emotional intelligence, not intellect, not personality, it's emotional intelligence. And my short description of emotional intelligence is this. First, do you understand yourself? Do you really understand yourself? If you do, can you control it? It means if you have an anger management problem, can you deal with your anger management problem? If you have a problem of talking too much, can you sit down and be quiet so others can speak? What do you do to control? Self-awareness, self-control. When you get past those things in emotional intelligence, you can start to be group aware. And in that group awareness, you can start to have legitimate influence. And so those are a couple of the G and the E. What is T? Spot on with you, Costa. It's tenacity. You've got to have tenacity. You know, I think that's something women do best, very transparently. We don't give up. We couldn't because we did it all, or at least that's what was expected oftentimes. And so that tenacity, the inability to give up, what about the it? There's your get. What about your it? You need to be smart. You need to have intelligence. It doesn't mean you need to make the highest SAT. Uh, my mother was pretty hard on me. Uh, I was blessed. I was valedictorian in my high school class. 
in a big class. Uh, she didn't understand why I didn't make highest on the SAT too. This wasn't my thing, but intelligence doesn't mean that you have the highest IQ. Intelligence means that you're constantly searching to grow and learn. That's intelligence. That you're smart enough to know you don't know it all. So you keep searching to learn, continuous learning, continuous improvement. One of the most important things my mentor, Rob Columbus, gave me was that thirst for continuous growth, to read books, to look for things to do better, and to surround yourself, quite frankly, with people that are smarter than you in the intelligence side so that together you can fill in all of that. And the last of the it, the IT, is be thankful. Probably one of my advantages earlier in my career, my nursing, my clinical nursing, was uh, I was a flight nurse, I was a trauma nurse, I worked in the ER. You know, I saw people that had a bad day. I saw people that saw their loved one for the last time when they left that ward. I was there when the coroner came to pronounce his own daughter who had just dropped her kids at school and a drunk driver hit her. Be thankful that you're even able to be here today. Think of all the things to be thankful for, not the things to be worried. In my mind, if you'll do those five things, you can get it. And it is whatever you want it to be. Don't let society tell you what your it is. You decide what your it is. But if you'll line up with those five things, you can discover them. Uh, in closing, I will tell you, I went with some, a few friends, okay, true confessions, we went to Barbie. <laughs> we went to see the Barbie movie. If you haven't seen it, it really did have some pieces of merit, and one was a quote, and then I'm going to exchange in it. Uh, we mothers stand still so our daughters can look back to see how far they've come. We women often are standing still because we don't think there's anything special about us. But the era that we're living in today is very special. I don't take seriously what's on this name tag, nor do I really think of myself as a, the first woman CEO, president and CEO of McLeod Health. I keep think of myself as a professional, but let's never forget that when we're standing still, that our children will look back and see how far they can. Thank you for letting my, you, me share my story.